edition of Talking Termites. I am Richard Hughes, your host from PQ Termite Protection. Today we're going to talk about the different, ter different termites that we encounter out in the field. The first termite that we're talking about is drywood termite. Drywood termites <clears throat> consist of three stages. They have the workers, they have the soldiers, and they have the reproducers. Now drywood termites nest primarily inside the wood that they are feeding upon, unlike they're unlike the subterranean termites which nest into the soil. Now the presence of fecal matter or pellets generally an indication that you have a termite infestation. During the reproductive uh, months which is generally the summer months you'll find wings um, in areas of the windows, door frames, anything that is light that the drywood termites will be attracted to. Now if you look here on the screen, we'll show you an example of what a drywood termite looks like. Alrighty, next up we have the subterranean termites. We primarily deal with three different types of subterranean termites in South Florida. Now, subterranean termites are some of the most destructive termites there is. They cause billions of dollars worth of damage throughout Florida and the United States. Subterranean termites generally forage and form nests in the soil and damp wood and is primarily contacted with the soil. They also build mud tubes that extends to the soil up to the wood. The presence of mud tubes are commonly signs of subterranean termite infestations. Subterranean termites digest the material uh, containing cellulose, primarily dead wood and decaying wood, as well as paper, cardboard, car, uh, cotton fabrics, and plant fibers. Now, subterranean termites um, have the stages just like drywood termites. They have, they're going to have the worker, they're going to have the soldier that has the mandibles on his head, and they're going to have the reproductors, those with the wings. Primarily, the wings, the wings are the reproducers. You'll see those more than anything, especially in the spring and summer months. Now, the first type of termite that we're going to encounter is our standard eastern subterranean termite. Now, that particular termite um, is native to our area. Um, their colony size is anywhere from a, from a half a million to a million. Um, one of the ways that you can distinguish the subterranean termite, the eastern subterranean termites from our other three, ter uh, the other two termites will be um, if you found the alates, which is the swarmers. The swarmers are, are a dark black color. Um, primarily that's what you would find when you're looking for subterranean term uh, eastern subterranean termites or you'll find their mud to them, their mud tubes. Next up we have the Formosan termite. The Formosan termite is one of the uh, aggressive termites there is in the United States. Um, they eat very, very fast. Um, their colonies are a lot bigger than our eastern subterranean termites. Now, they primarily swarm in the evening to night times. Um, unlike our eastern sub, they primarily swarm in the morning, in between, uh, in the morning times or at noon. Um, now, the, the Formosan termite one of the things is they forage for food just like our, our eastern subterranean termite. Now, in our last termite, the third termite, is our Asian termite. Our Asian termite we primarily find here in the South Florida area. Um, one of the distinctive things with them is from their, their soldiers. Their mandibles are a little curved. It's something that um, a professional as myself would know once we're out in the field. So those are the three Term, those are the three subterranean termites that we'll face here in South Florida. So you got your Eastern subterranean termite, you got your Formosan subterranean termite, and then you have your Asian subterranean termite. Guys, these particular termites cause a lot, a lot of damage. Look at the signs here on the slide, and we'll be able to show you um, some examples of what to look for. And as usual, guys, get protected.
here's the thing. If you guys encounter any of these attributes or traits that you see, you guys need to call us because it's not about if, it's about when termites are strike. And you guys need to get protected. Alright? See you next time. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and listen, and get protected. PQ Termites. Thank you.